see Connecticut News at 11. We're following developing news in the arrest of the Connecticut man suspected in the Times Square bomb plot. The capture happened in three days, but tonight we're learning before agents caught up with Fazel Shazad, they actually lost his trail. Right now he's locked up and facing terrorism charges. Shazad today not only admitted to making the bomb, he claims to have gone through terror training in Pakistan. We're also now getting a glimpse into a possible motive. We have team coverage tonight. Amanda Rouse spoke to Shazad's old real estate broker, who was surprised by the arrest. But first, Lauren Petty with how he nearly got away. Lauren. Well, tonight we're learning that Faisal Shazad was under surveillance yesterday when he somehow slipped away and made it onto a plane at JFK. That's where he was arrested 53 hours after a street vendor noticed a smoking SUV in Times Square. This is the man who authorities say drove a car bomb into Times Square, Pakistani-born Faisal Shahzad of Bridgeport. And I read the name, I said, do I know him? The founder of the Pakistani American Association of Connecticut, Saud Anwar, did not know Shahzad, but he did speak to a man who was a classmate of Shahzad's at the University of Bridgeport. In the last uh, few years, uh, he had become introvert. He had become more um, focused on absolutism on the faith. Uh, he became more... Um, concern about uh, the society and, and, and uh, became a little bit angry. It may be that anger that led Shazad to allegedly buy this SUV and pack it with explosives. Although this car bomb failed to properly detonate, this plot was a very serious attempt. 